Cancers, and welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So Cancer, I am here to do, um, you know, just a really quick check-in, right? Your nightly check-in. How's that? We'll call it that. The nightly check-in. <laughs> um, Cancers, this reading is for the collective. It is not going to resonate with all of you, though, okay? So just take what what does resonate and toss out the rest. Don't try to force it into your world. You guys know, right? And um, I figured I would start with the, the baby deck is just calling to me tonight, right? We love the baby deck. Um, thank you, Cancers, for your likes, subscribes, comments, shares, donations, everything across the board. Thank you so much for everything that you guys do that helps this channel keep growing, okay? Um, we're going to be growing together a lot in 2022, guys, so get ready. All right. Divine, what do you have for Cancer tonight? What do you have for Cancer? All right. You're being watched here. It's somebody that you've been with before. Um, I feel like this is somebody who may have ghosted you, cut you off, abandoned you, Cancer. You guys could have been, only been together for like four to six weeks, maybe, months. I feel like it, it really was very, very wonderful. Okay, for I feel like this was maybe a short time you guys were together and it was going great. And then all of a sudden, boom, it just stopped. You didn't hear from this person. They just abandoned you with no answers, no communication. They just cut you off. Okay, now that person is watching you. And I feel like a lot of other people are watching you too. Most likely in this card, I'm seeing that maybe it's people that they know are like they're what this person's watching you and other people that they know around them are watching you too and now they want to take a leap of faith have a new beginning with you here they want to start over basically or pick up where they left off maybe but this is like i said this is someone who definitely ghosted or abandoned you just an absolute cut off when things were going really well um now they're like they need to they know they need to do something they need to take some kind of action here if they're going to have this new beginning with you um do or do not there is no try right yoda so um who's going to argue with yoda so i feel like this person's time is up they can't just try little plans here and there they've got to actually do something or or leave it alone but this person, they cannot stop watching you. And I feel like they have friends around them that are watching you too. I feel like there may be someone in their inner circle that could also be interested in you as well. I don't know why I'm picking up on that. Yeah, person from your past here. Yeah, they're watching this dream just float on by, having memories of you, going back to a time when you guys were together and you were very attentive to this person. I feel like um, you really maybe looked out for them or just, you know, nurtured them, okay? And this person really wasn't paying much attention to you. They weren't the nurturing kind, apparently. They're dollies way over here. Um, but yeah, now they're very nostalgic. They're, they're thinking back on a time when you guys were together. Things that you guys said, things that you did. Um, you could have known this person for years and years and years uh, since childhood. You could even have kids with this person, um, but not necessarily, you know. Now you're out here able to manifest pretty much whatever it is that you want cancer you want a drum set you can have it right you want this milkshake you can have that too um yeah i have a milkshake every like pretty much every single day yeah yes i do um yeah i feel like you're a master manifester you're receiving your blessings here and i feel like um they're surprised by that and now uh now what they they're seeing what you can do they're seeing the blessings that are rolling in for you somehow they're watching you so like whatever it is you're posting online um 
if you are, if like say you guys work at the same place, they're watching you at work. They're driving past your house. They're driving past your job. They're going to the same place as you go. It doesn't really matter. These, whoever this is is watching you. And they could have other friends driving by your house as well. That kind of thing. Um, you're being heavily watched. Heavily watched. What are they seeing? You getting blessed. That's what they're seeing. They're seeing you out here being single and pulling in a bunch of blessings for yourself with whatever it is that you're doing. You've got this great manifesting ability. You could be um, doing something creative, right? Possibly something spiritual here, but this is you receiving blessings. And I feel like not only are they surprised, but it makes them really want to talk to you. Um, it's making this person feel very dramatic. Okay. This is my drama card. Oh, why is cancer out there getting blessed? Oh, you know, they could be hearing about this from other people who are watching you. You could be dealing with a Virgo, a Leo, a water sign. But I feel like this person really wants to do whatever they can to change things around. But um, I feel like you're in protective mode. You're like, ah, wait a minute. Now I'm getting my blessings and I'm really super happy. I've healed from from uh, the humiliation and the backstabbing and the abandonment i don't know that i want you coming anywhere near what i'm creating here i feel like you're extremely protective or at least this is what your person thinks okay there's a lot of envy here somebody could be envious jealous I feel like they're just really upset at watching you succeed and getting all of these awesome things rolling in for you, whether it's money in abundance or some of you could be moving and buying a home, some of you could be getting a car, whatever it is, you're on a glow up tour, okay? Yeah, and this person... I feel like they're they're watching you. They want this new beginning. They they're they're the ones who are like I shouldn't I shouldn't have cut off cancer, okay? And they're thinking about this on the outside. They're trying to hide it. I feel like this person is doing some heavy drinking. I feel like they're looking like crap. I really do. I feel like they they feel like crap. They feel like crap on the inside in their soul. They're looking really bad these days. Um, because they're, they're, on the inside, this person is clawing and screaming because um, they want this new beginning with you. You're out here winning. You're out here being a master manifester, getting the things that you want. Yeah, this is them wanting to come back around, but they're keeping it all inside right now. They're not really expressing themselves. They're walking around being really grumpy, though. They're, they could be very grumpy, isolating themselves from other people, um, maybe even snapping at people or just not talking. This person could be on shutdown, okay? Um, but still watching you, wanting this chance with you, um, and you're out here winning. Yeah, this person backstabbed you. They betrayed you bad. Be careful, it says, with this person. Yeah, they don't know what direction to take here. They want to be free from something, though. So I feel like this person chose someone else over you, or they're in a situation that they need to be free from. Um, this is jealousy, anger, and rage again, right over the top of it. Yeah, this person's jealous, envious, they may be around someone else who is very jealous. And that's maybe why they're hiding how, they're, how they feel. They're smoke screening here. They're hiding everything about how they feel about you. Sorry, I'm getting warm. Um, yeah, I feel, like, I feel like they're watching you. Some of their friends are watching you. Maybe even family is watching you. I feel like um, whoever they're with,
currently is watching you getting very jealous, angry, enraged because um, actually I feel like this is the, I feel like this is whoever they're with is saying, love me, love me. That's what I'm feeling like here, but your person, all they can do is watch you. All that this masculine can do is watch you. I feel like it's a masculine energy here. And I feel like the person that they're with is being very um, clingy, demanding, doing everything that they can to keep your person where they are. Enraged, jealous, envious of you. Yeah, and your person is smoke screening how they really feel, hiding how they feel about you inside, but they're getting ready to pop. They're clawing and screaming to get out. This is how they feel on the inside. They're not saying much at all to whoever they're with, and that's one of the that's that's one of the triggering things for whoever they're with here. It's just making them more angry cuz they know I feel like they know that this person is kind of slipping away. Look, because bottom of the deck, this person has fallen in love with you. Your person has fallen in love with you. They can't forget you, even if it was a short time that you guys were together. They cannot forget this connection. They can't shake it. The problem is, is they are with someone else who's toxic. Um, they may be already like engaged uh, or married, committed here. This is a toxic commitment. And your person, they just are longing to be free from that so that they can come towards you. Um, heartbroken. This person's heartbroken. They, they chose the wrong person or... I don't know. They should have never turned their back on you. They should have never abandoned you the way they did. Yeah, this whatever this is, this home situation, whoever they have this commitment with, it's coming to an end. Total destruction. They could even lose a home or have to like sell a home, have to move. Some kind of weather could even come and destroy their place leaving them out in the cold that's the weather's been crazy all over so yeah there's uh total destruction over this commitment possible loss of a home what's these yeah and i feel like the whole time your person can only think about you i feel like they may have entered into this um, commitment, this toxic commitment because of sex. It could have been a sexual kind of driven sort of toxic relationship, but they're just stunned. They're like, what have I done? This is them, I think, just constantly thinking about you, longing about you while they feel stuck with somebody who's toxic and clingy and things are falling apart in their world. And, and it may have been all for sex. This person wants another chance. But be careful because they, they may do this a lot. This is something that they've done before. There's, there's definite patterns of behavior here. There could even be like some kind of sexual addiction. So be really careful. But this person is in love with you. It's just that they have... Some kind of negative pattern of behavior that the divine wants you to be careful about, you know. Um, this person, I feel like they have something that they need to heal from, but they definitely want another chance to, to restart this. Pick up where they left off. Look, bottom of the deck. Oh, you know why? Because of you are so awesome. Yeah, they're looking at you being like a divine, this is a divine feminine card, world card, okay, and you're out here just being absolutely amazing, doing amazing things. You're, you're stepping into a new cycle that's going to be very, very abundant. You're having a glow up, you're intuitive, 
You've learned your lessons and healed from the last cycle crap that people put you through. Um, and you're letting things go. Relationships, situations, you're leaving them in the past as you move forward. Things that didn't do anything for you. You know? Things that no longer serve you. People, situations, people, places, and things that no longer serve you. You're tossing to the wayside. That's it. And you're holding up your hand like, I'm not going to allow any more riffraff <laughs> around me. No more BS, thank you. BS is not allowed where I'm going. And this person, they can't take your, their eyes off of you. They're watching you all the time. So whatever it is you're doing online especially, and they're just like, what have I done? What have I done? Because look, look at what they, okay, okay, let me just show you. They chose this. They chose that. That. With the horns. Everything, right? over you. Okay, let's look at this for a second. You know, and you're out here doing something amazing. This is a codependent relationship. This right here is a codependent toxic relationship. You're out here by yourself attracting whatever blessing, pretty much you're able to manifest whatever it is that you want. Okay, with good intentions, you know, doing it the right way, being thankful and all. You're divinely led. You're moving forward and you're very intuitive here. The universe has seen all the effort you put in. You're happy. Look at it. You're glowing and succeeding. And they're like, what the F did I do? What did I do? What did I do? They don't know what direction to go in this how to make it right how to make it better they don't know they don't know okay let's get um let's get some advice actually yeah i want to get some advice yeah this person they do want another chance though they want to break free from this toxic relationship really bad. They just have no clue how to do it. And I, I feel like, in a way, your person may feel like they, they, that they may not be good enough for you. I'm picking that up a little bit, that they may not, they feel like they may not be good enough. I don't know who that's for. Yeah, just... Try not to think about it. Don't dwell on it, Cancer. Just be at peace with yourself. I think you are. Look at you. This is you. This is you, Cancer. Okay? Manifesting your blessings, uh, graduating the cycle, letting go of past things, entering into abundance, manifesting beautiful things, being at peace, glowing, happy. And this is your person. And this is your person. Okay, big difference in energy there. I feel like your advice is to, you know, when this is starting to get you down, meditate on it. Try to raise those vibes because you are manifesting. Things are starting to come into towards you now in blessings. So you're going to start noticing like whatever it is that you're heavily thinking about is coming to you. Okay, um, yeah, so keep your vibes high. Yeah, you've got abundance coming to you, honey. Abundance. Balance. You're, um, you've got your emotions very well balanced. You're taking care of everything on your own here, I feel. You, I feel like you're a single person out here. Um, using your intuition because... I feel like especially this person, they, they kept you in the dark. They didn't bring you any clarity. So now you're very used to using your intuition. I feel like you've healed. You're in a very healed place, pulling in your abundance. I mean, 
Geez, I really don't see much of an issue with you out here, Cancer, I gotta say. Um, your abundance is coming if it hasn't gotten there yet. Pay attention, pay attention to the animals around you too. If they're acting funny or if they're just like coming to your doorstep and like sitting there looking at you, there's something to that. I feel like that's your person's energy kind of closing in like you know what I mean and be very careful too cancer you're being watched so I could see this as people too some of them watching you from all different areas okay I feel like you for some of you your person enlisted help to keep eyes on you either either your person did or this toxic individual did but yeah yeah, accepting here. I feel like um, you are already purging and giving your negative energies up to the divine. You guys are like co-creating here together. This is you manifesting, receiving messages, signs, synchronicities. The divine basically is telling you what to do and you're doing it. You're picking up on it like you'd pick up a violin. Okay, for real. You're like, oh, okay, you want me to play that tune? You got it. Yep. So you're doing exactly what the divine wants you to do step by step. Um, uh, and it's making you blossom here. I feel like you're building kind of like um, a foundation for yourself, okay? Working on your abundance. And, and I feel like that's a team effort between you and the divine. But it's also a creative endeavor that you're doing that's really paying off. So take that how it resonates to you guys. But yeah, that's what I'm feeling like here. Yeah, it's, you've got this whole new doorway, uh, a whole new beginning for you, Cancer. And look, your person is just like, oh my gosh, what have I done? What have I done? What have I done? I'm picking up on like a panic here. Let's get the mixed emotions on it, just really quick, because they look at that and it's like, some of you could be moving away even, some of you could be buying a new home or property, um, but whatever it is that you're doing, you're, you have a whole new beginning ahead of you. Like I said, you're entering into a whole new cycle. It's your turn to shine now, Cancer. So expect to be very abundant and chilled and happy and glowing in this next cycle. And the cycles last for years. So, I mean, look, you, I feel like you've had your struggles and the divine has seen. And now it's time for things to flip around and for it's your turn now to shine. Okay. And because of all the beautiful energy you put in to things in the past, this is what you're getting. You're getting, you're getting blessed now. Okay. All right. So, what can you show me for how this person feels about cancer? What's going on with this person? Because this is what I've got for your person. This is how they feel right now. What have I done? Oh my gosh. What have I done? Okay. What, what the crap was I thinking? Yeah, depressed. They're sinking further and further into a depression. What did I say? Very withdrawn. They're isolating themselves, shutting down from everybody, right? They're feeling empty and numb. They're, yeah, well, they could even be numbing themselves but I really feel like they do feel numb because like at, at a certain point, you just, I feel like it's almost like a shutdown. You know what I mean? Like, oh my gosh, what have I done? They missed out on the best kind of life ever. This person made a full on life decision that was very important for their future and they treated it like it was... Like it was a game. I feel they didn't they didn't realize what you were worth. Um 
worried, annoyed, bothered, aggravated. They're irritated by themselves. And they're worried, I feel, that you're going to get away. Which, you know, you might. I'm holding my deck upside down. You might, because you're, you're confident. You're taking a leap of faith. Self-assured, courageous, and bold. That's what you are. <laughs> That's you, Cancer. Look. Self-assured, courageous, and bold. That's you. Tossing out the old. Blocking it out and stepping into the, into the new future here that's going to be abundant. You're doing something amazing too. Very, very high vibing. And they're worried, I feel. They're very uneasy and concerned that you might actually... You're leaving their life. You know what I mean? You're leaving their life and they're realizing that. They don't know how to take that. I don't really even quite know how to explain it. Um, it's a really sick, panic kind of feeling. And on top of it, they're angry with themselves. And on top of it, they're having to kind of lie and put on some kind of act for this toxic person that they're with. They're in a really bad spot. They're going through it. Yeah, you're out here getting you're getting your wishes fulfilled. You're pulling in your blessings. You're doing so well, Cancer. This person, I feel like that at times they may even feel sick over this. You may even um Notice, uh, like, if your stomach is sick or something uh, throughout the day or just, like, for no reason at all, you might be feeling that off of this person. Yeah, they're very respectful of you now. They admire the crap out of you now after seeing how much you've healed. I mean, you're not in the place where they left you, and this person just body slammed you, I feel. They just left done that's it they didn't care now they can't take their eyes off of you and they're like crying they're very respectful now though they're just they're disgusted it says disgusted cancer but they're not disgusted with you they're disgusted with themselves and the fact that they stayed in a toxic relationship that they're not happy in okay they are committed to someone if this was a happy situation, the depressed card shouldn't ha shouldn't be out here at all. This is how this person feels, like they're in a freaking spiraling hole. Okay? They're not happy at all wherever they are. They're freaking miserable, sad, disgusted with themselves, and nonstop watching you, Cancer. Yeah. What did I do? Yep, anyway, Cancers, listen, that's what I got for this really quick update. Huh. This little check-in, right? It's just a little check-in. Um, anyway, guys, I love you. I hope this helps. I really do. If you guys like this video, please click that like button, right? Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, okay? And... Um, until next time, Cancers, take care of you. I love you guys. Peace out.